Hi, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will show you this laser distance meter I recently got on eBay. And the neat thing about this meter is that it uses a laser to do measurement inside a room. So if you're measuring the length from wall to wall, or you're measuring the area and volume, this meter can do all that calculation internally. You don't have to use a calculator and you also don't need to bring your measuring tape. So this is very convenient. So let's have a quick look around the box. On this side you see that it lists several distances 40 meter, 50 meter, 60 meter, 70 meter, 80 meter, 100 meter. When you buy this meter you do have to specify the distance or what's the maximum distance you want to measure. Now with a longer distance you do have to pay a bit more money compared to the shortest one which is 40 meter. On the back of the box it shows you the different type of measurements it can take. You can measure distance, area, volume. So let's open this up and I'll show you what's inside. Here's the meter itself. comes with a carrying case, a strap, and the user manual. Also comes with AAA batteries. To install the battery, there's a cover you can remove at the back. Also, you can install the hand strap on the side here. To use this device is very simple, but I recommend you first reading the user's manual, and it covers all the functions of this measuring tool. To turn the device on, press the measure button right here. You'll see the backlight turn on. To turn off the device, press the clear off button at the bottom here. Let's turn it back on. Now after a period of time, the backlight will turn off. When that does happen, all you have to do is press this light bulb button right here to turn the backlight back on. Here's a unit button here to change the unit of measure. Right now we're measuring feet and inches. We'll change to the next one. This is measuring feet with two decimal points. This one measures three decimal points in meters. This measures two decimal points in meters. This measures inches and also sixteenth of an inch. Now we're back to measuring feet and inches. On the top left hand corner you see an icon there. That little icon represents this measuring tool. To the right of it, there's a vertical line here, and that tells you that if it's measuring from the base of this measuring tool, or if it's measuring from the top of the measuring tool. And you can change that by pressing this button right here. If we press it once, now it will change to measuring from the top of the measuring tool to the wall that you're measuring. Now if I press it again, that line will now show the center of this measuring tool. Press it again, now that line will show is measuring from the bottom of this measuring tool. This horizontal line here tells you is measuring distance or the length. Now if you press this square icon here, it will toggle to measuring area. Press it again and it will toggle to measuring volume. Press it again and it will be back to measuring the length or distance. This button over here with the triangle shape, if you press that, that will set this measuring tool to measure Pythagoras, which is triangular shape. The plus button and the minus button is for adding multiple measurements together or subtracting multiple measurements together. This button at the bottom right hand corner if you have a measurement and you want to save it, press and hold this button for three seconds and it will save it in memory. 
If you want to read it and recall it, press this button and it will recall that measurement. You can also use this clear button to delete any saved measurements. To demonstrate this, I've placed a tool on the floor of my garage and next to it I have a tape measure so you can see the distance that I'm measuring. Now what I'm going to measure is the wall on the side of my garage right there. So let's turn on this device. To start the measurement, press the measure once. And what that'll do is that'll turn on the laser beam that you see right there. Now press it a second time to actually do the measurement. And that's measuring seven feet. And on my tape measure, that's exactly seven feet at the bottom of this tool. Now let's move this up to six feet and do a second measurement. Press measure. You can see the laser beam turn on. Now we'll press measure again. And let me show you. Now the second measurement is at the bottom, six feet. Now if you want to save this measurement, just press the bottom right hand button for three seconds and you'll see a little number at the top the register telling you that is saved. Okay, that's saved. Now let's press that button one more time to recall that measurement. So that's 001, the first saved measurement. It tells you is six feet. Now if you want to clear this, all you have to do is press the clear button right here and that'll clear the memory. With this next test, I've laid out two tape measure. Both of them are set at eight feet. I'll try to measure the area of this space using the measuring tool. To measure the area, you first need to change the type of measurement it's doing. So press this button here, and I'll change it to measuring area. Now, one of the side of this square icon is flashing, telling you to take the first measurement. So I'll press this button to measure. And measured eight feet. Now I'm going to turn this around to do the second measurement. Eight feet. So let me turn this around and you can see that the bottom here it calculated the total square feet 64.32. So let's clear the measurement and let's do one more by measuring the uh, volume of this space here. I'm going to press this button here, over here, to change to measuring the total volume. And now I'm going to take one measurement, turn this around, take the second measurement. Now I'm going to bring this up, pointing to the ceiling, take the third measurement. Now you can see the total cubic feet calculated is 627.91 cubic feet. As you can see this tool is very easy to use and most importantly it's very accurate. So if you're doing work around a home or any type of renovation this can be very handy. And I hope you enjoyed watching this review of this tool and if you're interested in buying it I will put the eBay link in my description below and don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.